today is my graduation day, finally being released from prison. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Have a fantastic time on the parade route. Okay, right on. Appreciate it. Right. right over there. I think this is the whole experience. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is what it is. You want to stick the balloons out the window? You can do that, too. <laughs> don't lose it. Is the parade basically starting, or? Uh, this is it, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> How do you put this on? Leave it like that for now. Look at this GoPro. Sheesh! Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Enjoy the balloons, man. <laughs> No one knows. No one knows. This is for Arab. us. This is for us. Oh, what about okay. you, Leah? Oh, yeah, okay. Are you looking forward to your graduation? Honestly, this was a better graduation. This is better graduation than Eva. <laughs> yeah, I, I like this style of graduation this more. Like in and great. out quickly. You don't have to sit there wait for everybody else. You love drive through your entire yeah. life. Yeah, and look what there, happened. You, know? <laughs> you get to go restaurant and eat. I think that's right. Really uh, what have been best if they actually had an in and out? You just drove through. <laughs> Got your burgers? No, I woke up like at seven. Aww. I got the balloons. I thought we're gonna go. Yeah, let's okay. I'm gonna go. Call for pictures. They're no, no, using for okay. pictures. Yeah, we're gonna do pictures, right? Yeah. yeah okay. But imagine the sheriff right here pulls me over and <laughs> I'm doing a complete stop. <laughs> Oh, man. So that pretty much concludes the parade. I am so very happy with how everything went through. Not with my mom. My mom couldn't exactly say the same, but it is what it is. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Thursday is a free man, and we got my boy Jonathan picking me up. Let's <laughs> get out of. What are we getting to eat, Johnny? Chipotle. <laughs> well, before I stop the Chipotle, I do have to get a bunch of orders out. A little hobby I picked up, and uh, I'll talk to you guys about that in a little bit. 
finally here, boys. It's been a minute since we got some good Chipotle, but uh, you know how it has to go. We got the Chipotle. <laughs> Back into YouTube, gotta get back into the Chipotle life. Show you guys what I got today. Unfortunately, I didn't get a tortilla because I found out that the calories are like 500 calories each. So, um, you know, don't want to add 500 calories to my meal for no reason. I'm gonna pass on that. Yes, sir. Sheesh. Okay. I love Chipotle. Oh my lord. I mean, I also gotta get that Tabasco sauce because I love it. I'm, my mouth is literally watering, bro. I'm so hungry. And after an amazing meal, we are back in the garage. Actually, the first time in the garage, you guys have really been, you know, other than, I don't know if I ever showed you guys me painting the garage, but any hoozles. Um, yeah, the, the garage originally was the color of this door. Now it is officially white. You guys can see I haven't really, you know, finished painting things. But uh, anywho, I'm here with Jonathan and we have the burger tuning uh, huge banner. I told them I need a banner for the shop and they decided to send me one that's as big as my car. So <laughs> this thing is absolutely massive. I kind of want to put it somewhere up there. I want to put all you guys' plaques right here for thumbnails and whatnot. I did just place an order just, you know, a few seconds to go for some LED bars. It's gonna go right over here. I was gonna go to Amazon and I mean not Amazon, um, Harbor Freight or Home Depot, but they want to charge literally twenty to forty dollars each. I'm not paying twenty to forty dollars each per light bar, and we need like twelve. So that's gonna break the bank. Amazon has like a six pack for forty dollars. I put the link down below if you guys want to check it out. But forty bucks, Amazon's choice for six bars. I think that's pretty good, you know? I hope they work great. <laughs> Anywho, so let's go ahead and just sit you guys down and start putting up all the plaques. I really, really, really want to get back into the grind. I've now, I'm officially not done with school, so I have nothing better than to do than to provide you guys with the best content possible and give you guys proper credit in every single one of my videos, or at least the majority of my videos whenever I'm vlogging here and uh, you know, just, just showing off your guys' names because I appreciate every single one of you guys that contribute to the channel. Are right, you okay, Jonathan? You got like a nice uh, little... Uh, I like it. <laughs> bro, it's huge, bro. Got a little dirty though. What the heck? Yeah. Oh, how'd that happen? I think probably because it got hot in here and then it just like was like. Rip. Ah, oh, okay. Well, it's I mean, it's still gonna look fine. It's, it's a garage thing, so it's gonna have a little bit of wear and tear. All right, let's set you guys up and uh, probably get that banner up first. I'm pretty stoked about that. And just like that, guys, we have our 10K plaque that I made for myself. I have the 100K plaque inside. But yeah, guys, this is the 10K plaque. This one is the 335. This is one of probably, actually, this is the first rebuild I've ever had on the channel. And the first rebuild I've ever got had bolts through the entire car, bro. <laughs> This is the 335 guys that we ended up getting and we ended up saving and had bullets shot through the entire car. I think it was like a self did job for insurance reasons. Probably. I think so. Uh, just because it was smoking out of the engine and I think that was the valve cover. That's what I think, yeah, that's what we ended up doing. We ended up fixing it was a valve cover but it looked like more than a valve cover issue when we got it. The next one is the legendary M3. I had no company sponsored to me other than the Omega Tuning. Omega Tuning literally just sent me some intake scoops. It was a mod too. It wasn't even helping really seriously with the build. But shout out to Omega Tuning for being the only sponsor for for the M3 build. But yeah, guys, these are all the contributors. I remember Jeremy, Jeremy sent like a couple hundred bucks to really help out the build. So huge special shout out to him. That's again why his name is so big on there because at the time, guys, I was $10,000 in debt. And Jeremy, I remember this guy more than anyone because he is the man. Oh yeah, and Francisco, he's always helping out as well. But I mean, everyone here, huge special shout out to everyone here. The 100K, these are all the people that got the limited edition 100K merch. So huge special shout out to everyone here that supported us when we hit 100K. That is pretty awesome. If you guys wanna check out your names, Bada bing. Love you guys so much. The next one is a 650 I build, um, which I also, I, we need to clean these as well, but I mean, guys, we have screw holes, like literally, like any, these have been used and abused. Anywho, we finally have them up on a wall, which I'm super stoked about. This is the 650 I build. So huge special shout out to everyone that's contributed to this build. The steering wheel was absolutely amazing. And the Vaptronic exhaust was amazing. And not to mention all the goodies that Keys Motorsports has helped supply with. Oh yeah, and RC Resign helped us wrap the car, which was pretty awesome. We did it literally I think in a day or two. It was absolutely insane. So again, huge special shout out to all the companies and all you guys who helped with that build. And uh, the 535, this was probably the, the, like, I don't know. I This is probably my least favorite build. I don't know why. 
But for some reason with this car, guys, I, I didn't enjoy the build. It was kind of weird. I mean, we did do a full-on build on the car, and I think we made it look pretty crazy in the end. But ultimately, I didn't enjoy the car. I actually enjoyed the 650i more. Uh, but this uh, was worse, but ah, uh, this. Oh, I mean, I don't think this is as bad as this. this I mean, awesome. this one was a lot more reliable, but this, this one, I actually like the car more. Yeah, I actually like the 740 Li a lot more, but unfortunately, it's a lot more unreliable. And he special shout out to all you guys. You guys can see the contribution differences. He special shout out to everyone here that helped with the 740 Li. Without you guys, honestly, I don't even know what I would have done with this car. And it's, again, so he special shout out to all the companies right here. Ozza for actually sending us back. I sent them an airbag from the 535 and they sent it back for the 740 Li because we needed it. And last but not least, guys, is the M4. And obviously, I had so many more goals and so many more things I wanted to do with the M4. And huge special shout out to everyone who's contributed to the build. This is probably the most amount of support I've ever gotten on a car before. And we're definitely gonna be bringing another F chassis M car to the channel, hopefully in the near future. I have another M car I'm trying to get in the near future, but we obviously gonna be working on the M5. We're still making that plaque for the M5. We have so many more goals, but in the meantime, time guys we do have three n54s you have the 335 the 740 li and we also have uh the 135 so in the upcoming videos you're gonna be basically seeing me um i'm trying to uh move them out because we need to get the m5 on the road as soon as possible the 740 li is pretty much ready to go if any of you guys want that car it has zero lights on the dash the car pretty much looks pretty good i mean especially when you clean it all up it looks absolutely amazing the only thing is is that it gets a random transmission malfunction out of nowhere and then you literally turn off the car turn it back on and it's gone away or you just give it some gas and literally because it's a sensor issue it'll fix itself it's super weird but i can't just hide that it's something that's there unfortunately it's the, the transmission turbuline sensor uh so that's just an issue that it is what it is but ultimately the transmission is good just a stupid sensor so for that reason i am selling that car for only five thousand dollars i've done so much more money of a bunch of receipts probably spent over six thousand dollars in just fixing that car um, not even considering how much I bought the car. So, anywho, long story short, pretty much selling it for honestly almost half. So, if any of you guys want the 740 online, make sure to hit me up on my Instagram. I'll be letting you guys know about that. And last but not least is the 135. Still don't know what's planned for that, but ultimately, again, the goals are to focus on the M5 and my girl's 135 uh, because we have, she has a lot of goals for her car. And I honestly really want to help her with that build as well. But anywho, Jonathan, what do you think of this? It looks really good, dude. I am really, really, really happy about it. I'm Damn, super it stoked. Cool. We need the LEDs. If you special shout out to Burger Tootie, that looks crazy. We do need a bunch of LED bars. Again, I ordered on Amazon. It is on the way. You're gonna put it all throughout there. I also noticed we have a power outlet right here, which is perfect. So I'm pretty stoked about that. On this wall, I don't know what else I should do over here. Maybe move over the Keys Motorsports banner from the other house. Awesome. Maybe, maybe. So I mean, I might have to move over the Keys Motorsports banner. Or just ask for another one. Oh yeah, maybe just ask Brian for another one because I love him so much, you know? Anyhow, at this point, let's go ahead and put on my cap and gown from graduation. Let's go ahead and get some pics with the i8 because, I mean, hey, your boy graduated. He's proud of it. Got to get some Instagram pictures and uh, make that chapter of my life in the past. I've been literally struggling with my parents, complaining to them how much I really hate university and how I actually find it absolutely pointless. That could be in a whole video in itself, but I mean, but yeah, guys, it's been a rough five years. I've been trying to focus on YouTube, but school's been getting in the way and I'm just happy it's over with and gone with and school is honestly not a thing for me but i mean it is for some people but end of the day again it's in the past i'm happy it's over new chapter we are flipping and we're gonna be grinding it's on youtube you freaking grind. yeah i'm just super excited me and john have some good plans coming up in the near future i mean literally for summer so i'm hoping we're gonna be popping out some pretty good videos getting some new builds on the channel but without further ado let's go ahead and get down to the park we gotta get some pictures with the i8 video we are officially back home shout out to Jonathan for those amazing pictures I'll probably throw in a couple right there in the video I'm um, assuming that Jonathan edits them in time if not uh, at least the thumbnail is good enough
huge special shout out to Jonathan. But yeah, that pretty much concludes the video. I am back and I cannot wait to get back into the channel. I'll bring a bunch more videos and I cannot wait to get rid of these builds and you know focus on the M5 and future M cars because I, I strictly want to just primarily focus on M cars and then uh, another non M car. Um, which is my girl's car. We're gonna try to convert it to a real 1M conversion, which I think is gonna be absolutely insane with some shit. Like I was saying before the i8 cut me off, <laughs> my girl has so, so, so many plans for the 135, so I am super stoked for that, and I have so many plans for the M5 as soon as we get that on the road, but the next couple of videos that are gonna be uploading onto the channel is basically gonna be videos of us trying to, you know, make room for those builds, which means basically doing what is needed to be done. So without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.